Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about creating fly-throughs in Archicad. Uh, if you go up to Document, um, Creative Imaging, Create Fly-through, this is well, this is what we're going to deal with. Um, but right now, we also need to make some cameras. So, um, I'm going to close that, and we'll go from scratch. If we scroll down here in our toolbox, there's a little camera. Double-click on that. So, open up the camera settings. Um, I already have some cameras made, but I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So hit new, I'll give it a uh, video test, hit OK. Now to place the camera, um, you just click anywhere on Archicad or on the floor plan, that's the origin of the camera, and then we click where it's going to look. Um, with that camera, uh, we'll see a couple things. Um, this is the focal point of where it's going. Um, you see a little sunshine there. Uh, these arrows, or this right here, will be with the path. So let's go ahead and make another camera. Um, say it's going to go right here. Uh, so you notice we now have two cameras. And if I change where this guy's looking at, um, grab that, you'll see between them is this line, and let's go ahead and click Path. Let's make that more visible, we'll make it red. Um, hit OK. So now you can see that red line. That's the, the line of the path between these two cameras. Um, and here is uh, this, this toggle to, to change how that path is going. Um, you can get uh, pretty fine-tuned as you just kind of work both ends. You know, it's, it's pretty typical how you work with the spline. Uh, if we go back to path, though, we have an option of going to uh, uh, polygon, and that gives it a nice um, kind of straight line between the two. Let's go back to camera, make it this Bezier, and then also under display options, we've got some options here of not showing anything, showing the cameras only, we don't see the path, um, showing the path, or showing everything. If we go show everything, these other lines that appear, and what these are is this is Archicad extrapolating um, all the views between the two points. So if we take this and move that, you'll see all these, like these are the in-between cameras. If we go back to path, right now in-between frames is set to 10. If we set that to 50, you'll notice there's a whole lot more lines. So basically Archicad's going to take a frame every time there. Why that matters is if we go to uh, creative imaging, create fly-through, um, here's where you actually create the fly-through, and if we go to uh, image compression set um, frames per second, um, what this is doing is is how many how many frames per second. So um, you can basically set the speed of how you go from camera one to camera two by how many frames per second. Uh, you know, more is going to be smoother, fewer is going to be uh, less smooth and then how many frames between. So, for instance, if you did 10 frames per second and you put 100 frames between the keyframes, keyframe is another term for um, camera, uh, if you did 10 frames per second, 100 frames between cameras, then it would take 10 seconds to go from this point to that point. Um, whereas if we did, say, 50, it would take two seconds. Um, so while we have this great fly-through, um, I think it's worth mentioning you can create um, a fly-through from the 3D window or do a photo rendering. Photo rendering is going to take more time, it's going to be prettier. Um, you can do all the in-between frames or just the keyframes. If you did just the keyframes, you'd basically be doing a movie of just your camera points, which might be nice for just a slideshow or just for some tests. And then you can render all the frames or just certain ones. So you could just do frames 1 to 20. Um, this last button, Rebuild Model for Each Frame, certain library parts will recognize the location of a camera. For instance, there's some trees that will always um, face the camera, much like a SketchUp tree. I believe there's also some cars and things like that that will move. If you rebuild the model for each frame, um, then this will be affected. Uh, there might be some other things. I don't I haven't used much of that myself, so there's probably some fancy GDL stuff that maybe someone else can leave in the comments. Uh, what else we got here? 
um, which kind of file type um, you want to save it as. Pretty much I always use the QuickTime, but there's a lot of other options there. Uh, you know, whether you want black and white, color, color with alpha channel, um, all that. Probably for most people, you're going to start just using color. Um, rescale, I'm not going to even worry about that. And then we already talked about, um, oh, so this is frames per second, quality, um, keyframes, how many frames between the camera, and then this is just different compression rates, which you can muck with depending on how big the final file is. Um, you can then do show, and it will run you through the thing, which I don't want to do because it's always bad to do a recording, um, or save, and it's going to save out um, the fly through. So what else can we cover here? Um, on individual cameras, you also have the option here of wait here for frame for frames. So you could say wait here for, I guess, 99 is the max. Wait here for a certain number of frames, and remember frames per second. If we're at 10 frames per second, you do 90. Camera will wait there for 90 seconds. Um, you can click that smooth path between cameras, and it's gonna um, give you a smooth path. So if we do that, let's let's go ahead and add a third camera. Um, that we smooth. Path. Uh, and I'm sure everything, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that would be our our cam path there. Um, what's interesting to know is for the sun, um, you can set the sun different for um, each camera. So once I messed, anytime you mess with any of that, you have to then hit apply, and that moves the that sets things up. So you see the the sun is over here. Uh, here the sun is here. So in this, not only would you be moving around the building, um, the sun would also be moving with you. Uh, you can manually set all your heights here, so if you know the camera height, you can put all this information in. Though, um, my preferred method for um, setting up cameras is you um, find your view, and then you go down to um, your project map, select the camera you want, right-click, modify this camera to current view. So now what will happen is you see that moved over there. So let's go ahead and um, just show you that again. I've rotated thing here. I'm going to right click, modify this camera, and we're going to see that camera move. Um, there we go. So what's nice about that is you can move through your model, basically set up all the cameras you want, um, move through your model, find the view you want, and then um, right click. Um, modify, you know, wherever we just had it, um, modify this camera to print view. It's a great trick. Um, another nice thing you can do is if you highlight one of these cameras uh, and you right click, um, show selection in 3D, we're now going to see that camera. We're going to see that camera view. Um, so if we click that, Again, right click, uh, show selection marquee in 3D. That's the view from that camera. Uh, so that's the basics of all that. I think there's a couple other things to cover. Um, but once you set that up, it's pretty much um, creative imaging, uh, create fly through, and save. So that's it. Um, I'm going to jump over to a model that I did. Um, and it's Click on that for uh, so just take a moment. One of the things I did with this movie, and I, I'll try and I think put a link in the comments um, of the YouTube video and upload the, the movie I made from this model as well. Um, one thing you'll notice in the background I set up an image so that there's a kind of a nicer sky. When I made this movie I turned on shadows and um, just saved it from the 3D uh, window. I didn't even bother um, rendering it because it just kind of set the materials, kind of took the idea from um, that stealing materials from SketchUp video I did um, earlier to give it this cartoony look. You know, so it's it's not photorealistic at all. It's not the greatest rendering in the world, but uh, I think it gives a good. Um, 
sense of the space. And then if we go to, say, this view, um, we're going to make these rocks and these, uh, these flowers. Um, so I think this video is getting kind of long. Hopefully this gives a good overview of working with cameras and paths and creating a movie in Archicad. And once you do it once or twice, it's, it's all pretty straightforward and easy. The real trick is just getting your cameras the right way, setting up your, um, your path so that it um, goes through doors and not walls. In this case, I had to you know, open the doors. And so there, there's some, there's some fine tuning that happens. Um, and basically, you, when you think you've got it set, you just go to Creative Imaging, Create Fly Through, and Show, Save, and just kind of do some trial runs. Um, test it at first with, um, let's go back to Path, you know, test it with, say, three in between frames, or five, or ten. Just something to do some quick runs, and then once you got it, then you do a photo rendering of it, or you do a, um, you know, more frames. So gonna get it set and then make it deeper and some other tricks that might as well show where we have this model open um, only model what you see so for instance this camera path which comes through looks through this uh, open opening into this um, seating area for this church and nowhere in this path I made sure can you see this half of the room so I just didn't put any chairs there um, well, I'm going to stop here, so I hope you learned something. Um, add your comments either on YouTube or on my blog, and if you've got a lot of questions about this, we can do a follow-up video or just um, answer questions as we go. Thanks.